Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life of Pets. So today's video is gonna be a little different. I have got a large order of fish food coming and I've also got a large order of fish and so I thought I would combine that video together. We also have redone our 75 gallon tank. So I'm gonna show you that as well. So I'm gonna do, like say, a bit more of a vlog style video. Just before I start, in case you didn't see our huge announcement, we have opened an Etsy store and on that store we have been sort of selling t-shirts and decals and that sort of things. Our dividers are on there also, but it, this is predominantly for t-shirts and key rings and that type of thing, which make great gifts coming up for the holiday season. So just to give you an example, hopefully that is gonna show up okay, but this is the sort of thing, and of course we all know, or at least I hope you all know who that is, but that is Belfin. And then we've got, I've got different types of goldfish ones, but that is another one. And then I do also have some beta fish ones of different designs as well. We have that one. They don't show up very well on camera, unfortunately, just simply because of the light. They've got a hard coating on them, so it does sort of promote glare, but that's another one. This is just a few of them. There's quite a lot of different designs actually listed. And then we've got a Dumbo one as well. I wanted to show you probably one of my favorite key rings. Yes, I need all these beta fish, because let's face it, we all have several of them. Go on over, check it out. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. Okay, so when the food arrives and when the fish arrive, then I will pick the camera up again and we will get on with the video. So the fish food has arrived and as you can see, it is a very large box. I have just um, opened it so that my address was not showing and the papers inside weren't showing the address. We buy our frozen fish food in bulk and that is simply just because it is so much cheaper to do that than to get it from the store. We get it from Live Aquaria and we've been doing this now for quite a while and we've never had an issue with them. They've been absolutely fantastic. The good thing is as well, these are reusable and so we actually recycle them by using them for our snail orders and shrimp orders and things like that that we send out in the mail. So these do not get thrown away. They are great to recycle. So I'm just gonna get rid of all these. Wow, there's loads of them. They always do one day shipping. So I ordered this yesterday and it then comes basically overnight. As you can see, everything is still really, really frozen solid and obviously that is what you want. So I got a load of bloodworm. I usually get one flat pack and then the rest I get in cubes. I also got the clams on the half shell to try again with the puffer fish. We've tried this stuff so many times and they don't eat it, but we're gonna try again. And then after that, I just got a lot of the brine shrimp. I got some Daphnia because of the new fish that are coming. I have very small mouths, some of them. So we wanted the Daphnia and the mice's shrimp is, this is something that I only actually get every now and again. I don't do this every order, but I do that um, a few times. But as you can see, bloodworms is what we predominantly get. And then the bottom of the box again is lined with the blocks. So everything frozen solid and I'm gonna go get it into the freezer. And then these are the other fish foods that we got in as well. They did not come from Live Aquaria. We got these on, I think it was Amazon actually. And these are ones I'm gonna try. I've been using the Omega One wafers 
and the, the snails and shrimp and everything go crazy for them and because some of the fish that are coming are small we needed a really small pellet so I wanted to give these a go just for variety I then also saw this one this caught my eye and this will be great for the clown barbs along with everything else as well it is a smaller pellet but I thought I'd give that one a go and then we have been using these for the clown barbs as well as our Corys and that might be a hint to something that's coming today with fish and then also I wanted to give this a try as well again for smaller fish and this might be a hint for what fish are to come so once the fish arrive then I'll pick the camera back up and I'll show you what we got and them going into the 75 gallon okay guys so the second package has arrived and this one i am so excited about i think this is the new fish so let's take a look at them i just love how dan packs these fish these came from dan's fish and you can find him on getgills.com I do actually see some movement so let's take a look he usually packages them individually which is what I do really like because then obviously the water does stay a lot cleaner as well oh these are so cute so that is a panda cory and a second panda cory I honestly can't remember exactly what I ordered so as in number quantity these are so cute oh they are adorable i think i did eight of those but i don't fully remember all right next ones i'm gonna do are let's do these so these are cobra endless and this one here is a female and a second female right there um, we have a male oh beautiful colors i mean you think that is beautiful colors right now i don't know whether it's focusing very well but i can't wait to see it in a tank if the colors are looking that good when shipped and then we've got a third one so there should be three females and three males. Um, we've got another male there. I am so excited for this breeding project. I was chatting with Michael from Michael's Fish Room over um, email a few weeks back and we were, he was talking about um, some guppies that we'd done in the past and did we have any more and I said no that shipping fish was just not for me I just absolutely love the guppies but it wasn't for me and it was not long after that conversation that I decided you know what I really did love breeding the guppies and so when I saw those cobra endlers on Dan's website I decided that we would give them a go okay so these are African glass cats and it looks like he sent us an extra one. So that is wonderful. Thank you very much, Dan. And let's take these out. So these are all gonna be the same. Oh, he sent us an extra two. Oh, wow, okay. That's fantastic. All right, so I will go and get these acclimated because these now I think are all going to be the same so I don't need to pull out every single one for you guys on camera I'm going to go and get these acclimated and I will then show you them once they're in the tank I will before I do that show you us doing the tank we have done a new setup on the 75 gallon so let's go take a look at that first so boy did we make a mess when we were doing this tank we wanted to change out the substrate 
and put in sand because of all the quarries and so this was sort of what we ended up with initially but since then we've now added a lot more plants as well because we got the order of panda quarries in and we already had some julii quarries and um, we've still got our school of 20 pygmy quarries we decided that it really was time to get this tank done and to get sand as the substrate so that it is much better for the quarry cats so we did that and we've then added in the new fish as well they have been in the tank now for 24 hours I did acclimate them and then put them in and I decided that I would just leave them be and to do them the next day so that they could settle all the fish are active and swimming around we do have a couple of concerns with the glass cats but we are in contact with Dan and I will say that he is very very supportive with his customer service if you do have any issues or anything with the fish I don't know whether you can see there but we do actually have overnight the very first night we had the endler guppies in we got some babies I couldn't believe it unfortunately the camera doesn't focus too well on them I don't know if you can see them there they're sort of almost center and a little above we have counted three so we are super super excited about that I know a question we are going to get a lot is do we plan on selling the endlers and initially yes I will say that we do have plans to potentially sell them but obviously we're going to be waiting until we've sort of got a really large group so I would just say keep an eye on our website and our website is always linked in the description box below and that's the lifewithpetsgci.com not the Etsy store one obviously we don't sell fish and things like that through the Etsy store. Picasso, our beta fish, has now got a lot of company in this tank. Uh, he has been in the 75 gallon now for probably about seven to eight months and he was for the longest time the only fish in here with a ton of snails. We then added the pygmy quarries and he did very very well with those so we decided that it probably would be okay to add other fish in and at the end of the day this is a 75 gallon so it's a big tank and I have to say I am so proud of Picasso because he has just accepted everything that's been put in the tank and he also has not bothered with the baby endless either I was really worried that he would hunt those and I am sure that because we're going to sort of do the breeding in just a very natural way in a tank full of fish then I do know obviously we are going to lose some just to the food chain as it were but the tank is very very heavily planted so I do think that we will probably end up with hopefully a lot of babies and the fact that they've already given us some babies is absolutely fantastic so we are super excited to start a new project with this tank we absolutely love the glass cats they are a really nice addition in the tank they're very very active they are out all the time which is really nice too and the quarries have become much more out and about as well we did find that the pygmy quarries hid a lot but now there's a lot more activity and a lot more company in the tank than they're out a lot more as well so you will be seeing this tank a lot more as time goes on especially with how the breeding is going on i am so 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 excited about that all right guys thanks for watching if you've got any questions on the tank then just leave them in the comments box below don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you want to see more videos like this thanks for watching and we'll see you next time